This is a test of an amplifier I built to go between the bandpass filter and a power amp and it's a simple 2N222 uh, RF amplifier. It can give upwards of about 20 dB of gain and I've got a pot here which controls the gain and the 2N222 has a little heat sink of attached to it because it does get uh, kind of warm and so the input of this amplifier is connected to the output of the bandpass filter and the output of this amplifier is connected to the input of, of the power amp. And I have got my uh, scope probe here for my signal in connected to the output of the bandpass filter and that's doing an FFT. I've got the output of the bandpass filter also connected to a dummy load and I've got a scope probe here for my um, Instac scope which is going to be measuring the voltage. As usual I've got the BFO and local oscillator that's connected to my uh, Park uh, SIGGEN prototype and I've got my meter here monitoring the current that's going into the IRF, IRF 510 and I've got my phone here that's generating an audio into the microphone. So the way I've got my scope set up here is I have got uh, two cursor lines. Uh, the first cursor line here that is the 37 dBm. You could see it there it's 36.8 uh, dBm. It's a little blurry but that cursor right there is uh, is uh, 37.8 or uh, uh, sorry 36.8 so 37 dBm which is 5 watts this second cursor here is 42 dB down below that so what that's going to do that's going to if I have any harmonics coming above that line I'm not uh, meeting FCC regulations okay and uh, my second scope uh, is my instec which is basically um, just going to be measuring the voltage and I've got two cursors here which is measuring about 45 volts which I know about 44, 45 volts is uh, 5 watts so as long as it's uh, roughly within those two uh, cursors there I know it's uh, putting out 5 watts so it's kind of cooperation that I'm getting 5 watts uh, uh, coming out so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and uh, put power on onto the power amp So that's as if the um, TX is turned on. And it's pulling about 72 milliamps as I talk. You see it's pulling more amps because it's uh, my voice is hitting the microphone. So I'm going to go ahead and put a tone in. So it's uh, pulling uh, 856 milliamps. And uh, here's my voltage here. So it's a little bit more than 45 volts. And here's my uh, spectrum here. Uh, right now I've got it set to 14.2. So you can see the 14 uh, point two, the harmonic is well below that line. So I'm going to go ahead and change this now to be 7.2 to be the um, 7.1 which is the fundamental. And there's 7.1 peak and it's hitting the uh, uh, 37 dBm. So it is putting out 37 uh, 5 watts and uh, that 14 megahertz harmonic is well below the uh, 42 uh, it's, 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 it's 42 uh, dB below the um, uh, the fundamental frequency so I've just turned off the tone here and the current's at 100 milliamps
and uh, this is warm it's not I wouldn't say it's hot but it is warm these heat sinks they're all uh, warm they're not hot and uh, if you look at the 7 megahertz so that's that's the carrier there and any carrier left over and I think it's just from amb ambient noise So you can see my whistle almost drives 5 watts out of this sucker. So it's just picking up my voice and we're seeing my voice coming out there. So let's go back over to 14.2 megahertz. So that's the um, that's the uh, harmonic for uh, seven megahertz. And so that's not it's not coming above that forty two dBm line. It's coming close to it, but it's not coming over to it. So let's go up to. Uh, 21.3 which will be the next harmonic I'm going to go ahead and put the tone on so there it is there and you can see it's well below the 42 dBm mark. So that's pretty good. So it looks like uh, the output from this using that preamp is uh, pretty good. 